Hi, welcome to our November market report for Huntsville and Madison County. Now this is going to be our last market report of the year. As you know, we're coming up on a busy holiday season. I want to wish you and your family a very happy holiday season. I hope you have an opportunity to reconnect to friends and family over this period of time. Today we're going to look at where we've been in the real estate market, where we are in Huntsville and Madison County, and what we expect for 2023. Let's check it out. So as we wrap up 2022, the big question everyone's wanting to know is what's next in 2023. So what we want to do today is take a look at where we've been, where we currently are in Huntsville, Madison County, and what we expect for next year. First thing we need to do is take just a minute to realize what kind of real estate market we've been through for the last three years. And during the pandemic in 2020, 2021, and carrying over into 2022, you have witnessed things that you have never seen before in your lifetime in real estate and probably will never see again. If you just take a look at where we've been, you've had record year-over-year -year price appreciation, multiple years, three years of double-digit home price appreciation. Never seen that before, probably will never happen again. Record low mortgage rates. Mortgage rates below 3%, a once-in-a-generation rate for those who got mortgages under 3%, and record low inventory. We were counting inventory in days instead of months as we normally do. All of those things happened in 2021, carried over into 2022, to create an unprecedented white-hot real estate market. So what we want to take a look at is where is the big story coming from in 2022, and there's no question the big news this year is mortgage rates. Mortgage rates have doubled this year. Mortgage rates knocked a lot of the buyers to the sidelines. It's important for you to understand that this demand that was deleted from the market was not removed. It was just pushed to the sidelines. When we get in an environment where interest rates start to re reduce again, start to go down as they will after this recession is over, then we're going to see that demand come back into the market. So this is a temporary sidelining of a lot of real estate demand. Uh, we're going to look at some numbers here shortly that shows how it's affected our market here in Huntsville and Madison County. But Coming from Freddie Mac, the 30-year fixed rate mortgages increased 3.83% this year so far. They've doubled this year. That's the biggest year-to-date increase in over 50 years. You haven't seen that since the 70s. And for most of you, you were not investing in real estate or owning real estate in the 70s over 50 years ago. So for you, this is the first time you've seen any kind of increase in mortgage rates like we've seen this year. The question is, are mortgage rates going to keep going up? Are they going to continue to rise? According to Realtor.com, inflation is still running at a 40-year high. Federal Reserve is expected to continue raising the Fed funds rate through the end of this year. Now, mortgage rates will experience some upward pressure as they continue to raise that Fed funds rate. There are some Federal Reserve governors that are now advocating maybe only a half a point increase instead of the 75 basis points that they've been doing recently. But it does look like they're going to continue raising rates through the end of this year and into the first quarter of next year. And as they do that, mortgage rates are going to feel some upward pressure. While the rates are expected to continue to drift higher over the rest of this year and the first quarter of next year, the rapid increase is behind us. We're not going to double mortgage rates from here. So the big move up is over. What we're looking for now is for some slowdown in the Federal Reserve and some stabilizing of mortgage rates. And then on the back side, as we'll see here shortly, we're looking for them to start to decline again. Remember, this is important. Historically, mortgage rates are going to peak before the Federal Reserve stops raising their Fed funds interest rate. So if we anticipate them to stop raising the Fed funds rate by the first or second quarter of next year, then we should expect mortgage rates to peak before then. And they'll go through some period of stabilization. Then on the back end of the recession, when the Federal Reserve starts to lower their Fed funds rate, you'll see mortgage rates start to decline. Is a recession around the corner? You know, we had a couple of months ago where we talked about we've already had two negative GDP quarters in a row. And historically, that's always meant that we're headed to a recession. 
You can see how the economists have been reacting over the years. The Fed started raising interest rates, starting out only 18% thought that a recession was around the corner. By the end of the year, two-thirds of the economists are expecting a recession. That's the way the Federal Reserve is going to combat inflation, throw the economy into a recession, then they'll bring it back out. But these are important points to remember, and we've covered these before, but as we go through this annual review, I just want to point them out again. A recession does not mean home prices are going to decline. It doesn't mean we're going to have a crash in home prices. For most of you on the call, you do remember the 208 Great Recession, and that's what people have in their mind when they're talking about our home prices are going to crash. We looked at this in depth last month. Uh, if you missed that one, go back and check out the market report from last month where we talked about inventory, supply and demand, and how that's just not, the conditions are just not there to create the kind of price declines we saw back in the Great Recession. A recession does mean that mortgage rates are going to go back down because at some point the Federal Reserve will stop raising their mortgage, their uh, Fed funds rate. The economy will be in a recession. They'll need to stimulate the economy, and the way they stimulate the economy is by lowering their Fed funds rate. And when that starts to happen, mortgage rates will follow. Mortgage rates will decline as well. In Huntsville, Madison County, our prices took a big leap. You can see here from October of 20 through probably April or May of 21. That's when we had our biggest gain in home prices. Now, we use price per square foot here because our market is price per square foot. It's probably that way because we have so many engineers in our market. Some markets don't really go by price per square foot, but ours does, so that's a critical number. And you can see since about July of um, uh, last year, our prices have been fairly stable. We moved up from about $154 to about $167 per foot uh, early in this year, and then back down now to maybe $157, $158 per foot. So prices are pretty stable. We haven't seen a significant decrease. I think that's going to continue. Our inventory has started to move up. You can see that early this year, we bottomed out in inventory. That's when we were counting inventory in days, number of days of inventory. Typically, we talk about inventory in months. And if you just looked at this year, you can surely say you could create a headline for the news, inventory has doubled since the beginning of the year, and that's accurate. You can see we bottomed out in April. We have twice as much inventory on the market now as we did then. But the whole purpose of this look back is to say that we're only half of where we were before the pandemic. This is 2019. This is our inventory levels back in 2019. We're about 50% of those levels right now. This is an early indicator that our market was starting to shift. When home sellers put their home on the market and it hasn't sold in in a day or two like it was doing last year, especially if it hasn't sold in a week or two or a month or two, they get really nervous. And what they realize at that point is they have overpriced that home. So in order to move their home, they have to decrease the list price. This is what this chart is illustrating. The significant rise in home price reductions just since spring of this year. Normally, again, this is 2019, Typically, we see about 25 or 30 percent of price reductions in a normal market. And you can see we were well below that during the pandemic. We got down at one point where we were just 10 percent price reductions in the market uh, back in 21. So, but now the price reductions are increasing. What happens is the home sellers go on the market. They're looking at past sales instead of the current market. They overprice their homes. They realize in a few weeks or a month or two that their price is too high and they have to decrease their price to generate activity in their property. Our market action index tells us how fast our market is moving. Are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? And we saw many times over the last few months where this index was peaking out at 100. First time it's ever done that. Uh, strong, strong seller's market. Homes, you know, as you know, you've been through it. Home selling in hours, not days. But we have cooled off significantly. You can see uh, from the spring of this year to currently, we're down to about 49, 48 on the market action index. We are still in a seller's market in Huntsville, Madison County, but we're well aware away from the uh, white hot market that we had uh, last year when we were peaking out at 100 on this index. You can see that we have to get down in the 30s before we're in a buyer's market. That's probably not anytime soon. 
So we're still in a seller's market, still low inventory, uh, but certainly more options now for buyers uh, than when they had just six months ago. The big question we want to try and, and talk about here as we, as we wrap up is what's next for 2023? How do you make your plans for next year? Whether you're planning on selling a home, buying a home, investing in Huntsville, what should it look like in our real estate market? We expect mortgage rates to peak sometime next year. As we talked about earlier, this is going to be a result of the Federal Reserve finally stopping their increases in the Fed funds rate. Mortgage rates are going to peak before that happens. Uh, then they should stabilize and start to decline. We expect home prices in our market to stabilize. There are going to be some pockets of the country where home prices decline. We could see some small price declines in our market, but we're not going to see a crash in home prices. We just do not have the kind of inventory levels that you have to have to create a home price crash. What we've done with these mortgage rates doubling over the last year is we have pushed a lot of buyers to the sideline. As soon as these mortgage rates start to decline and they see that home prices have stabilized, many of those buyers are going to come back in the market. And it could create another event similar to what we saw during the pandemic. I don't think it'll be nearly as severe, but we could once again start depleting inventory at a rate that's going to cause prices to move up again. Inventory increases to normal levels. We looked to see that we're about 50% of where we were in inventory before the pandemic. So we would expect over the next year our inventory to be stable to increasing as we get back to more of a pre-pandemic number. Builders will continue to provide incentives to move their spec inventory. Uh, currently, if you're in the market for a home to invest or to live in, our builders do have spec inventory on the ground. They are offering incentives, uh, incentives to buy down your interest rate, incentives to pay your closing cost, incentives to add uh, upgrades to the property. So now is a really good time if you're taking a look at new construction uh, because there are some good deals out there from our builders. Sellers are going to be more agreeable to concessions. Uh, over the last couple of years, sellers were not doing anything. They were not paying closing costs. They were not reducing the list price. They were not including any furniture, any appliances, nothing. So, But now, as the inventory increases, the market gets a little softer. It is still a seller's market, but they are going to be more agreeable. They're not going to get 20 or 30 offers on their property when they put it on the market. Uh, for homes that are moving ready, we're still getting multiple offers, but we're down below five, less than a handful. Uh, whereas last year, it was not unusual to see 20, 25, 30 offers on a, on a good moving ready home when it came on the market. And we hope to return to pre-pandemic conditions. So when you see the news reports saying how inventory is up, home prices are down, their sales are down, they're comparing that to the abnormal period that we just came through with the pandemic. We hope to revert back to a pre-pandemic level. Uh, mortgage rates approaching 5%, three or four months of inventory on the market, uh, and home selling at a normal pace. A balanced market is what we would be looking for. So we have a lot of resources on the website. If you're looking to buy or sell or invest in Huntsville, please check them out in the description below. If we can help you in any way, please reach out. We'll be glad to help you with your next move. Have a great day.